at 5.30 starts now. South Burlington continues to grow and needs more water to do it. Thanks for joining us at 5.30. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kiana Burks. Voters approved funding for a new water tower. And our Haley Morgan finds out what that means for a city on the rise. For the last year and a half, the city of South Burlington has been in need of a new water tower. When we reach that level, we have to find more water. So uh, the project is to double the amount of water we have available in South Burlington's high service area. Voters signed off on the nearly $6 million bond on town meeting day as the current water tower is at 98% capacity. South Burlington's director of public works, Tom DePietro, says it could take the city about 20 years to pay off the current estimate of the project, but already has grants lined up to help alleviate the costs. We have one grant in hand already for a half million dollars. We are going to finish up our plans and get our financing in order uh, this summer and fall and bid it so the construction can start in the spring of 2025. It's potential we could be done by that fall 2025 or it could extend kind of into the next year, it depends. According to DePietro, the water tower is being built to meet future demand. It's estimated to meet the needs for the next 50 years of growth in South Burlington. City manager Jesse Baker says that's exactly the goal. We're anticipating that growth rate to continue at about one and a half percent a year. Um, that certainly is driven by our district and seeing city center built out in the community's vision. We are also seeing our business community really looking for workforce housing. So clean water is certainly a pivotal part of local government public health. And city officials were pleased to know residents overwhelmingly supported the vote. You know, it's always great uh, when we can put out a project like this and the voters send a clear message of support. Uh, it was over 70% positive vote for the tanks. Reporting in South Burlington, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News.